All right, what's going on, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And you guys know that I love looking back at what GTA 5 used to be like, whether it's beta images or things that were supposed to be in the game, like cut content. That stuff really, really fascinates me. And I love talking about it and comparing it to what Grand Theft Auto 5 is in the future and in the present day. So a couple users on the GTA forums beta hunt site have actually found and brought up some more images comparing what Grand Theft Auto 5 was going to be and what it looked like in the early days a couple years ago. And we're gonna be comparing that to what it is right now. This is gonna be a continuation of a few videos and series that I've done here on my channel. You guys really seem to like it. I think my friend Austin the Saints fan covered this a day or two ago. I haven't had the chance to watch his video, but I'm assuming it's something similar. And I've been doing this series for months now on my channel and you guys really, really seem to like it. So I'm gonna continue it today. We're gonna be taking a look at some pretty cool stuff. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into it and let's get it started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at today is very, very interesting. It actually has to do with what looks to be an interior or property you might have been able to own revolving around the airport. So you guys have probably driven around this many, many times in your Grand Theft Auto 5 playing days. But basically what this is, is it's like the center kind of control tower for Los Santos International Airport. Now from this image right here, you can see it's kind of low texture, low poly. There's an inside that's built on this and it has like some chairs, it has some tables. And I wonder if this was meant to be a purchasable property for Grand Theft Auto 5, whether that be for Trevor, for Michael, for Franklin. We know that in game you can like own the airport so that when you go on the helipads and the runway, you don't get any stars or whatnot. That happens kind of towards the end of the game, but there's obviously no way to like own anything like this. This. If you go there in game right now, clearly that area doesn't exist. You can't go inside and it's kind of walled off. You can't see the inside of that kind of either flight deck or control tower or whatever it is. I'm really not too sure. So I thought that that was a very, very interesting image right there. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this. I think I brought this up very briefly in my comparing Los Santos to Los Angeles video, but I wanted to talk about this a little bit more because I don't know how far this dates back to. I know some of the images we're going to look, be looking at today date back to kind of 2010, 2011. This certainly looks like it date, dates back pretty far as you can tell by the graphics and the textures and whatnot. But I thought that was very interesting and very cool. And it's a shame. I wish we could own something like that at the airport because that sounds pretty epic. Okay, so let's move on to a couple other images that I wanna look at. These next pictures, which are coming from user Spider Vice, are actually images that come from movies recorded in the alpha and beta builds of the game, including some custom versions of Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption. That's why I kind of assume that these are coming from 2010 slash 2011. So this first one right here is a very uh, barren land and an unfinished countryside of Los Santos. So I don't exactly remember what movie this is, but you can see there's like three trees. You never really see an area in the game where there's just that little vegetation really at all. And there doesn't look to be really any details on the ground or in the sky there. So needless to say, that looks like a very, very unfinished version of the Los Santos countryside. If we move on, we can see another image right here. Here. I believe this comes from the Cunning Stunts trailer. I'm not entirely sure here, but this is a very early alpha build of the game. If you try to not focus on the characters, but look at the background, you can see the map is like half complete. Uh, it looks like they're very close to the, uh, I guess they'd be the Vespucci canals, but look at the background. It almost like doesn't even exist. It almost like drops off to a point where it nearly half exists in the game. It looks like the highways are just barely finished. The buildings are very, very low texture. I don't even know what mountain range that is in the background background. Is it Chiliad? Is it Josiah? I have absolutely no clue there. It looks like there's a giant sea in the background, but what I think that is, is just a very, very unfinished map that Rockstar hadn't created when they were building this movie trailer. I think Rockstar even used some images from GTA 4, as you can see in this image right here. This looks to be the dock on the ha a Statue of Happiness Island. So when you go there, you would come there by boat or land there by helicopter, but it looks like that's the Statue of Happiness Island. And then another photo, which looks to be from Red Dead Redemption, or at least taking a lot of the textures from Red Dead Redemption, as can be seen in this black and white image right here. Now, if we move on, we can see another image right here. We've got the 
these two guys standing what looks to be very, very close to where the Vinewood sign is supposed to be. Uh, they're kind of walking in that area right there. And you can just see the, the hill itself looks very unfinished. Uh, the ground itself doesn't look to have that many details, the trees in and of itself. So that's another kind of a very, very early alpha image right there. If we move on, we can see another image of this house that's on fire. But what's more importantly here is what's going on with that palm tree on the left? That is really crazy. I don't know if that was like a glitch or something like that, but that is the funkiest looking palm tree I've ever seen. And we can also see, like I said, a couple other versions of the homes in game, but they look very, very low detail right there. If we move on, we get a very interesting photo of what looks to be an interesting helicopter in the game. That to me looks like the Hunter from GTA San Andreas. So I don't know how many of you guys played that game, but the Hunter was an awesome helicopter from San Andreas, and I know it's been very requested in game. I think it was replaced by the Savage helicopter, but as you can see, those look to be new and ones we don't have into the game. Moving on, we can see a very early Blaine County without any props or any details in there. I mean, look at that. Blaine County looks like it got hit with a nuke. It just like, it doesn't exist. You can see some light poles in the background, but that's it. There's no animals wandering around. There's no nothing. So that is really early build in the game right there. That's just a desert. It doesn't even look like Blaine County. Uh, moving on, we've got some early images of what Los Santos actually looks like. This one right here, you can kind of see the lower detail of the city and just how little had gone into it by the time this game was being created. And again, if we move on to a closer up image of the construction building, we can see that this building has different glass panes on there than what there are are right now. Again, I'm not really sure why Rockstar has never gone to the trouble of trying to complete this building. I thought it was going to dynamically evolve as the game went on, but I guess that isn't the case. If we move on, we can see a very early photo of what the ocean was supposed to be looking like with extremely clear water. Again, you can see this right here. It almost looks like it's unnaturally colored, like this aqua green and blue. And then in the background, once again, you can see a very low detail of some of the mountain ranges and the cities. We can also see a very early version version of the Mount Zona Hospital. You guys likely know this is the one you spawn in in game after you die a lot. You can also see some very early variants of the cars in here as well. Now I can't make them out that much, but you can also see, like I said, the crazy design and shape of the hospital. It looks to be a little bit different, especially where that ambulance is parked there. So once again, very, very cool stuff right there. That looks to be one of the earlier builds we've seen in the game. And last but not least, this image from Spider Vice, uh, we can see a custom baseball stadium. Now, I don't know if this once again was built into the game just for this commercial or if there was actually supposed to be a baseball stadium that featured more sporting like things, but it was definitely built. You can see like the Sprunk, Fleece of Prolapse advertisements in the background, but obviously in game, there is no full-fledged baseball stadium that can be found whatsoever. Now, another user on the thread, yeah, man, Tip Tap, has actually found some more images. This one right here is a very, very early image of Los Santos, and look how beautiful this looks. I mean, there's like these sprawling trees and palm trees, and there's these pink cherry trees, those don't exist in game, which is kind of a shame. So he's actually recreated what this would look like in game uh, if, it, if Rockstar had kind of kept up what that vision was supposed to look like. And look how beautiful that looks, the pink trees, the sprawling palm trees in the background and the beautiful other plants and foliage. But that doesn't exist in the final copy of the game. As you can see, this is what it looks like right now. I mean, look at the difference. It's insane. I mean, it, it's like the game went from very beautiful to just like kind of a random street. And it's like, what the heck, Rockstar? Why couldn't you have put those beautiful trees in the game? It would have made the environment look so cool. Uh, I don't know what their thing was for taking out those pink trees and other palm trees and foliage, but it just looks so much more barren and stuff. So I don't know, again, what the plan was there or why they were trying to do that but it just doesn't make sense in my eyes. And similarly, you can kind of see the same thing in this screenshot right here. This is one of the very first screenshots of Grand Theft Auto V that was released. Michael on his bike about to drive into the city and into Los Santos. And here's what it looks like today, a very similar comparison. And I don't know, the game just felt a little warmer. It felt a little more, I guess, homey with all like the foliage and whatnot and the trees. It just seems as if Rockstar removed more than they really needed to when they were kind of building up GTA V. I don't know if they 
I kind of overanalyzed what they could put into the game. And when the final copy came out, they realized, oh, we got to remove some stuff. So we're going to be taking away those trees and whatnot. But it just seems like the vegetation and color scheme was so much better in these earlier 2010, 2011 photos. And just to wrap up our comparisons here of Los Santos, we've got one more. This actually has to do with the billboards that can be seen on the hotel in game, you know, like the three images. So this is what it looked like in the early alpha and beta version of the game. You can see a little bit blurrier, very less detailed. And the one in the center looks to be a more vibrant purple, pink almost. And then this is what we see it as in game. Obviously the designs are a little bit more clear. The colors look to be a little bit less vibrant and the one in the middle certainly seems to be maybe a different design with different colors as well. That's another image that was brought up and I thought was really cool. And one thing I didn't even notice as well, which is once again, pretty crazy. So those are some pretty crazy comparisons right there. And really the last thing we're gonna be looking at today is something that's coming from Wild Brick 142. So you guys actually know that there was supposed to be a weapon in the game called the Programmable AR and it's actually mentioned in ammunition stores but we haven't really gotten any reference to it in game other than the images that can be found within the files well he was actually able to load it up into the weapon wheel and actually on one of the characters as well and it looks really cool I don't know what Rockstar's use of this weapon was or what they had plans for it but the files are in the game and you can actually get it on to the, your character through some advanced modding just as Wild Brick has done. So once again, I'm not really sure the purpose there, although I think this weapon is super cool and I would have loved to have it in the game. Again, that's just another mystery of something that was cut from the game, yet its files still remain within Grand Theft Auto 5. But really, that's all the comparisons we're going to be looking at today and at Grand Theft Auto 5 and kind of how it looked in 2010 and 2011. I think it's amazing how much this game has changed. Many of it, I believe, is for the good. Some of it in some rare situations, I think, is for the worse. And that if Rockstar just kind of left it how it was, it, in my opinion, it would have been a much better designed game. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I really like this. This series and every couple months or weeks when I get the chance to look at some new images that are provided for us. I think it's really cool to do this. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.